Whenever you're watching us, you want to bless the Lord this day for you have been faithful upon our lives. Hallelujah. And you want to sing this song that says, Name I am going to go for. Hallelujah. Why don't you give the Lord a mighty shout of praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
share the word of the Lord. And uh, I want to share about the, uh, the unlimited God. The unlimited, unlimited God. I don't know what comes in your mind when you hear that title of the unlimited God. What comes in your mind? Nani ambaye kuna kitu ambacho kimekuja kwa mawazo yako and you want to tell us. When you hear that title, what comes in your mind? Unlimited. You know, as human beings, in our human nature, we, we go through limitations. So we are talking about the one who is unlimited. Do you, anyone who has something you want to tell us when uh, you hear that title of unlimited, unlimited, huh? beyond measure, thank you, beyond measure, our God is uh, beyond measure, you cannot measure God, there is no tool that can measure God, that's, that's a good one, beyond measure, the one who created the heaven and earth, he's immeasurable, you cannot measure him, he's beyond measure. That's good. Thank you. Bless you. Anyone else who has something and you want to share share with us? <coughs> he cannot be restricted. He's beyond restriction. <laughs> he's beyond re restriction. He's, he's beyond even boundaries. You cannot put a restriction or boundary when you are dealing with God. But because our mindset have some restrictions. So, the way we view God, we view God per the restrictions in our mindset. And at times, we want to impose those restrictions to God. We don't see God for who he is. But we see God from where we stand and what we know. But he is beyond restrictions. That is God. Anyone else? Kunae, kunae mtu mingine ambayo ungetaka wakati ulipo sikia hilo uh, title ambayo tunasema unlimited, unlimited God. Unlimited God. Yeye ni zaidi ya mambo yote. Ni zaidi napenda hilo jina. Jina zaidi. Mungu ni zaidi ya mambo yote. Bwana sifiwe. Ni zaidi ya yale ambayo tunayo kutana nayo. Mungu ni zaidi. Unakutana na changamoto na wakati mwingine tunataka kuona mungu kadri na zile changamoto ambazo tunazo kutana nazo na wakati mwingine tunamuona katika kiwango ya changamoto ambazo tunakutana nayo lakini Mungu ni zaidi hata hiyo changamoto ni zaidi ye yeah, ni zaidi he's beyond i want my brother elder simon to read for us uh, the book of uh, job 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 are you there Job chapter number 36 from verse 22 to 24. Zomera kizungu kiingereza ndio si ni waingereza you have a you have an English version you can read for us uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is job 36 22 to 24 job 36 22 24 God, our God is an unlimited. And the job is saying, the one who needs no a teacher to guide him. Amen. 
Yeye ahitaji mwalimu wa kumuelekeza kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. In life we need people to guide us because in our humanness we are limited. We go through limitations and there are things that we are we are not familiar. We meet unfamiliar territories in life. So we need somebody to guide us. But God in his nature as God he needs no any human teacher or guide because he is God. Bwana asifiwe. Tunaanza kuona picha ya Mungu sasa. Yeye ahitaji mwalimu wa kumwelekeza. Bwana asifiwe. Look at our journey from the time when we grew when we I don't know even when we had not realized ourselves when we came into this world. There are people who have played a bigger role in guiding us kuna watu ambao wamefanya sehemu kubwa kutufanya vile ambavyo tuko who have guided us in this journey of life mungu ametumia wazazi wetu tulikuja katika ulimwengu wa mapo hatukuwa na chochote we were vacuumed we were we were void hatukuwa na we didn't have anything but there are people who have been used to guide us. Ili tuweze kufika mahali tumefika katika maisha. Wazazi wetu wamefanya a big role. They have played a big part to make us to socialize us. Ili tuweze ku behave in a way that <laughs> Leo mtu anaweza kuangalia na aseme jameni huyu mtu ni tofauti. There are people who have played a big role. Kuna walimu ambao tulipelekwa kwa mikono ya walimu without any knowledge. We were blank our minds were blank in terms of knowledge. But they have played a big role to make us who we are today. But God in his nature him being God he needs no human guide. Yeah, ahitaji mwalimu wa kumuelekeza kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. And that's why in the, in the book of Isaiah chapter number 55 verse number number 9 Isaiah Are you there? Isaiah 55:9 <laughs> Maandiko inasema for as the heaven are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts <laughs> Njia za mwanadamu na njia za Mungu utofauti wa njia za mwanadamu na njia za Mungu Mungu anatuambia my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts Bwana asifiwe Sijui kama sasa tunaanza kuona picha ya Mungu Eh utofauti na vile ambavyo tulikuwa tunamuona hapo awali kwa sababu tulikuwa tunamuona kulingana na yale ambao tunayopitia tunaposoma uh, sayansi inatuambia we perceive things per our experiences we perceive things per our experiences and also we judge people per the experiences that we are going through utakutana na, mu, na mtu hata kabla hanene already umemjudge maybe kulingana na ile prior information uko nayo ama yale mambo ambayo unayopitia So we we have naturally we have some biases within us Bwana asifiwe Ya kupimanisha watu Na kuna watu ambao ni wazuri hata kama ongei 
atakuja akuangalie akupima niche akupime ah sikio akupime because we are shaped by our experiences in life but god is not shaped by the experiences that we go through because he is beyond time he is beyond the experiences so wakati tunapopitia mambo magumu tunaanza kuona mungu kulingana na yale magumu tunayopitia tunakosea kwa sababu mungu yeye hapimwi na yale mambo tunayopitia especially wakati huu wa covid ambapo tumekutana na changamoto mingi ambapo tume tumefika tume mahali tumemlidia Mungu kwa sababu ya changamoto zile tumepitia lakini wakati mwingine tunafungukiwa juu tunataka kuona Mungu kulingana na yale ambao tunayopitia our god is unlimited eh? he is beyond measure he, is, he, he cannot be restricted hawezi muweka in, in a place hallelujah if god created the entire universe that we see with just some few days the god that we are talking about is the god who created the entire earth just with just some few days how many days six days and the seventh day he rested huyo ndio mungu ambao tunayo nena kuhusu ikiwa ulimwangu huu wote now mind you in fact some of the things that amazes us in the earth god said let there be and they came into existence yeye alisema tu acha kuwe in fact how could create the only the only people who are created were adam and and eve they are the only two people who are created by god but all other things that amazes us god said let there be alitamka tu kutamka kutamka tu kwa hivyo inamaanisha nini mungu anapotamka mambo yanakuwa huyo ndiyo mungu ambaye tuna Tuanze kumuona vitofauti. Tuanze kumuona vitofauti. Akitamka mambo mambo yanatendeka. Akitamka mambo yanakuwa. Limiting God because of our human understanding. We limit God by our human understanding. Human understanding. Look at Numbers chapter number chapter number 11. Verse number 18 to 23. Nani ambaye yuko hapo atusomee? Numbers 11:18 to 23 I want us to look at the conversation of God the is Moses and the Israelites We are talking about limiting God because per our human understanding because of our human understanding Numbers 11 Numbers 11:18 to 23 and verses 18 to 23 says mm-hmm. Now tell the people purify yourselves for tomorrow you'll you'll have meat to eat the lord has heard you whining and saying that you wished had some meat and that you were better off in egypt now the lord will give you meat and you'll have to eat it you'll have to eat it not just for one or two days or five or 10 or even 20 days but for a whole month atusimamie hapo you can the that conversation <laughs> the children of israel have been complaining 
wana complain hatuna nini hatuna nyama kule misri angalau tulikuwa tunafanya nini tunakula nyama kumbe nyama ni ya muhimu haleluya one time kuna mzee rafiki yangu hapa one of the elders aliupeleka mahali <coughs> pakula nyama every time i pass there najipataga ni vile ilikuwa imetengenezwa <laughs> Asante elder Tanui. One time we went and uh, he treated me as very special nyama choma, mbuzi choma. And every time I pass there, najipata there is a pool. Najipata ni kama ninavutwa kwenda pale kula nyama. Kumbe nyama ni ya muhimu. Bwana asifiwe. So they have been complaining for what that in Egypt they were eating nyama walikuwa wakula nyama yeah? so mungu amesikia the complain look at the conversation god has heard their complain na mungu anakuja anawaambia hamtakula tu nyama kwa siku moja bali mtakula kwa mwezi mmoja mtakula hadi mjiangalie for a whole for a whole month I want us to take this conversation to the next level. Verse number 21. Let's see what, what, what Moses says. Verse number 21. <clears throat> Verse 21. Moses said to the Lord, Here I'm leading 600,000 people. Mm -hmm. And you say that you will give them enough meat for a month. Mm -hmm. Could enough cattle and sheep be killed to satisfy them? Mm -hmm. Are all the fish in the sea enough for them? Mm -hmm. Is there a limit and God asked him to watch a hero to figure out for once Musa in his human understanding look at the conversation he's reasoning with God na anamuuliza Mungu hata wale kondo wote na wanyama ambao tuko nao wakachinjwa I have a I have an army of 600,000. Hata hawa wanyama wote wakichinjwa wanaweza toshea watu kama hawa. 600,000. Anaendelea na muambia hata wale samaki wote even if you had gathered all the fish in the sea. Tuache na sasa na wanyama. Hata samaki kule baharini wote washikwe wanaweza lisha hawa watu ambao ni elfu ngapi 600000 but in the new testament we know it is possible you and me know it's possible if christ fed 5000 men with how many loaves of bread five loaves of bread and two fishes wana sifiwe so wewe na mimi tunajua but because of our human understanding human nature <laughs> we tend to limit god we tend to see god in our humanness so musa ana reason na mungu anamwambia mungu hata haiwezekani haiwezekani hata samaki wakaletwa wote baharini hawezi lisha watu elfu mia sita. and sasa tuseme tusikie Mungu anamwambia aje Musa is there a limit to my power the lord answered you will soon soon see whether what i have said will happen or not amen <laughs> anasema mkono wangu si mfupi my arm is not what it is not short hmm. na akamwambia utaona kama ni kweli ama si kweli we serve a god whose arm is not short that is the image of god that i want us to go with a god who is able to reach everywhere a god who is omnipresent He is everywhere. He is not limited
limited to space. He is not limited to distance. He is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. That's the God that we serve. That's the image of God that I want us to go with as we are dealing with God. We have to break the lenses of our human understanding, our human nature when we are dealing with God. Because he is God. Yeye ni mungu. Mungu wa mayo tumeambiwa hana restrictions. Hawezi muwekea restrictions. So, Musa anajaribu kumuwekea mungu restrictions. Hata samaki wote baharini wakachukuliwa. Hawawezi. Hata wanyama wote hawawezi. And that's what we do in our humans. kuna jambo ambalo Mungu hawezi. He is unlimited God. Ye ni Mungu ambaye yuko unlimited. He is unlimited God. Bwana asifiwe. That's a God that we serve. Tunapo when you are dealing with young children, wanapo wanapokuwa. Ah, uh, wakati mwingi at the age of 5, at the age of 4, uh, hawa watoto they are still in that process of growth they are still in that process of growth now how watoto at that age they will perceive things per their maturity and growth the level of their maturity na growth so most of the time unataka waone hivi kama mzazi lakini hawaoni hivyo even when we are dealing with teenagers and at times we are so harsh on them because they don't see the way you see bwana sifiwe but have you ever asked yourself when i was there at that age how was i seeing hiyo miaka ya teenager wakati tulikuwa hapo tulikuwa tuna behave namna gani na tunaona mambo namna gani When we were four years and five years, tulikuwa tunaangalia mambo na mnagani. We could see things and perceive things by the age that we are. And the growth, because growth is gradual. <laughs> growth ni gradual. And at times we become impatient as parents. We are impatient. But in this journey of life, God is never impatient with us. He allows us to grow. So, in our Christian walk, we are growing day by day. And God is never, there is no any moment that God will be impatient with us. Wazazi tunakuwa impatient na watoto wetu we have a god who is impatient with us so we are growing even in the way we perceive things in this journey of faith we are growing it is a process it is not a one time thing up growth it is it is gradual so i want us to see god as a god who is patient as a god who is full of grace <laughs> the second thing that i want us to learn today is that what god says he means what he says mungu anamaanisha ile ambayo anasema he means what he says hallelujah bwana sifiwe God means what he says. Let us look at the, the Bible in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter number 13 verse number 14 to 17. Nani atatusomea hapo? The Lord is speaking to Abraham. Na anamwambia Abraham <laughs> that your descendants are going to be great. Look at the conversation of Abraham and God. 
had a conversation of Abraham and God. Genesis chapter number 13, verse number 14 to 17. And then we'll jump and go to verse na, chapter 15, verse number 1 to 7. Genesis, are you there? Whose people were wicked and sinned against the Lord. After Lot had left, mm -hmm. the Lord said to Abraham, mm -hmm. from where you are, mm -hmm. look carefully in all di directions. Mm -hmm. I am going to give you and your descendants all the land mm -hmm. that you see, and it will be yours forever. I am going to give you so many descendants that no one will be able to count them all. Look at the conversation. Abraham, what God says he means it. And I'm going to be Abraham. Look, I am going to bless you. I am going to make your descendants to be great. It will be impossible to count them. It will be impossible to count them. <laughs> we have also to be careful. Let me put a... Because we have to be careful. We are living in a generation of Mayo. Mungu anaamka anasema ni Mungu amenenenea. Ni Mungu Mungu gani ambaye amekunenea? That's the the swali. Tunaishi kizazi ambacho mtu anaamka anaota. Wacha ni kwanza issue ya ndoto inakuwa ni shida. Mtu tu analala anaota, anasema Mungu alinenenea. Mungu amenionyesha hivi. Na tumeiona hata kwa TV the other day, mama ambaye amekuwa kwa ndoa na watoto ni watano. Anaamka, anasema mungu wa memnenea. Anasema, akamuambia olewe na roho mtakatifu. Shetani ya shindu katika jina laisi. Hiyo ndiyo generation ambayo tunaka. <laughs> generation ambayo inavituko. We have to be sure. So Abraham is sure that it is God who is speaking to him. And let me tell you, kama ni mungu wamekunenea, mungu wata confirm. There is always a confirmation. There will be a confirmation. Mungu haneni maramoja na anapotea, anahepa. He will come back to reaffirm what he has said. No at times tunasema ni Mungu ili tutishe watu wengine. But look at this conversation of Abraham and God. You will see how God is communicating with Abraham coming to Abraham and telling Abraham that your descendants are going to be great and many. It will be impossible to count them. And look at Exodus. Exodus chapter number 1 verse 1 to 5. The Lord had promised Abraham in Genesis. Alikuwa memuahidi Genesis. But look in Exodus chapter number 1, verse 1 to 5, the generation here of Abraham, they are only 70 in that generation. Wako tu watu wangapi? Sabini. 70 only. But God had promised Abraham that his descendants will be great. It will be impossible to, fa to fanya nini to count them. Counting them will be a big puzzle, a big task. That is Exodus 1, 1 to 5, only 70. But you look at Exodus 6 to 12. Exodus 6 to 12. Within a short time, <laughs> kwa munda mfupi, the generation ambayo mungu walikuwa mesema atai extend it happens in Exodus from verse number 6 to 12. They become so vast. Yani wanakuwa kwa jia kubwa. Mbaka farao anafika mahali anasema, hey, awa watu wamekuwa wengi. 
akaanza kusema sasa kila mtoto muyahudi afanya nini auame god means what he says when his time comes he means what he says hallelujah it doesn't matter how long it has taken it doesn't matter how many people have said it is impossible god means what he says within a short time hallelujah the generation ambayo mungu alikuwa anasema itakuwa watakuwa wengi hata wataweza kusehesabika it happens in Gen- in exodus 1 from verse 6 to 12 mungu anaanza sasa kuwa kuongezea wanaanza kuongezeka kuongezeka kwa njia ambayo inaonekana kwa sababu Mungu kila wakati waga anamaanisha yale atausema mwambie jirani yako Mungu anamaanisha yale anasema Bwana sifiwe even in our lives never 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 dismiss God's voice I is a mistake we do. If you are sure it is God who has spoken, never never dismiss God's voice. Never never dismiss the voice of God. He is the same yesterday, today. never dismiss his voice sara tulifika mahali akataka ku dismiss sauti ya mungu kwa sababu miaka imeenda sana miaka imeenda sana inaonekana ni kama sasa nimefika mahali miaka sasa hii miaka unajua eh, ukishafika in fact that was past retirement age because sara alikuwa amefika mahali ambapo alikuwa amefika 90 wanasifiwe nimesikia watu wengi wakifika 50 wanasema sasa mimi ni retirement age hata yale Mungu alisema sasa sioni ni kama inaweza inawezekana wengine wana retire at 40 nowadays fika mahali wanasema nime nime sioni ni kama ni kama inawezekana Sara hapo ndipo alikuwa. Anamwambia Mungu, <laughs> nikiangalia miaka yangu sasa. Eh? Usipo kadhisi. <laughs> nikiangalia miaka ni hesabu. Haleluya. Sioni ni kama inawezekana. Hii ni ndoto. Sio ni kama inawezekana. Ana dismiss. Sasa it is impossible. In fact one time when God visited her, she laughed. Alicheka. Never 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 dismiss god's voice never dismiss god's voice he is god yeye ni mungu hata kama miaka imeenda hata kama mambo inaonekana ikiwa namna gani yeye ni mungu yeye ni mungu yeye ni mungu hata kama mambo imeenda chini namna gani hata kama mfuko imefika mahali haina chochote nakumbuka mama katika kitabu cha wafalme chapter first is it first kings or second kings chapter number four. mama ambaye amepoteza mume wake na sasa amekuja kuchotwa amefika mahali mambo yamemweka chini anakuja kuchotwa ana mtumishi wa Mungu anaenda kwa mtumishi wa Mungu anamuuliza ni nini ambacho uko nacho kwako no matter how small it is hicho kidogo hicho ulicho nacho hiyo ambayo inaonekana ni kama hakuna so mama anaambiwa enda go borrow go borrow but don't just borrow just some few solution 
I want you to see God in his unlimitedness. In his nature. Go borrow, but don't borrow just few. The level of your miracle is determined by how you borrow. Or how you see it. Don't borrow few. Because once you borrow few, mujiza wako itakuwa hapo. So huyu mama anaenda anaomba. Anakuja zilmeja. Anaambiwa na utakapo omba, jifungie. Akaambiwa something that is not making sense. Akaambiwa the small oil you have. Ile ndogo ambayo huko nacho, hiyo unaita ndogo. Hiyo unasema hakuna. <laughs> hiyo kidogo anza kuimwaga. Kwa hizi zingine ambazo ziko empty. Kwa sababu aliambiwa aombe empty. Empty jars. Eh, huyu ni mwenda wazimu. Unaezaje? <laughs> Kitu ambacho hakina, empty jars. Na mafuta ni kidogo. Mahesabu ya Mungu wakati mwingine hai I make sense in our human understanding. But it does not make it does not add up in our human understanding. But he's God. He's God. So this woman obeys. Anaanza. Anaanza kumwaga. Haya. Jameni ya kwanza ime eh, imeja. Haleluya. Unajua aliambiwa afunge mlango kwa nini? Juu wengine wangeingia wangemdiscourage. Wangemdiscourage, wangemwambia wacha waenda wazimu. ama waanze kumpeleka madhare Haleluya Lakini aembo funga mlango jifungie Sababu wakati mwingine mambo ya Mungu haingiani kwa mahesabu ya binadamu ama ya mwanadamu Lakini kama ni Mungu amenena na umeconfirm Mungu ndiye amenena anaendelea kuweka anaendelea kuweka anaendelea kuweka yale mafuta yaliyo madogo katika macho ya binadamu ambayo inaonekana hainge jazz hayo mafuta yanaanza kujaza na huyu mama anafungua company look at the way god removed her from poverty look at the principle the way god used to remove her from poverty. This is to formulas na steps towards moving from poverty to riches. 6 steps, 8 steps, 10 steps. Kwani nimeweka mask yangu hapa? <laughs> Baba katika jina la Yesu. Mungu mwenye uwezo na mamlaka. Yehova ni asante. Kwa sababu mkono wako si mfupi. Mkono wako unafika kila mahali. Baba, vile tumekuona Yehova tunaomba msamaha. Wakati mwingi tumepungukiwa tumepungukiwa na imani wakati mwingi tumesikia sauti zingine tukakosa kukutumaini tukakosa kukuamini Yehova kama ulibadilisha maisha huyu mama kwa njia ambayo kwa ubinadamu tunaweza ona ni kama upuzi tunaweza ona ni kama haiwezekani lakini maisha yake ikabadilika kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu Mungu usiyeshindwa Mungu mwenye uwezo Mungu mwenye mamlaka uliyeumba bingu na inchi kwa siku chache uliyesema mambo yawe na yakawa Baba uliyeguza wagonjwa Yehova na wakapona 
Baba, ulieleta matumaini kwa wasio na matumaini. Baba ni asante. Watu wako Bwana. Baba tunapotoka mahala hapa. Wacha imani yetu ikajengeka. Wacha tukakuona vitofauti. Wacha tukajua wewe ndiye mweza yote. Wacha tukajua tumaini letu liko kwako. Wacha tukajua miujiza yetu baba iko kwako. Wacha tukajua wewe ndiye uko na nguvu na uwezo na mamlaka ya kubadilisha mambo. Badilisha mambo katika maisha ya watu wako Bwana. Walio shushika moyo ukawainua. Walio wagonjwa ukawaponya. Wasio na matumaini ukawapa matumaini. Wasio na kazi ukawafungulia madirisha na milango ya mbinguni. Wanaofanya biashara wakakuona Yehova. Nenda mbele zetu. Tengeneza njia pasipokuwa na njia. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, aliye Bwana na mkombozi wetu, tumeomba na kuamini.